Hey guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to get this makeup look right here. I wanted to do something a little bit darker today on the eyes but I still wanted to add some color and I did this super cool eyeliner which kind of matches my nail polish like a little bit. This is not actually an eyeliner, I did it by myself so just keep on watching and you will see how I did it. But I love how this look turned out. You can definitely change the color of the eyeliner, you can do it with whatever color you want but I think that it would look super cool with a gold glittery eyeliner this would look super gorgeous too so i hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet thank you so much for watching and let's get started <laughs> Okay, so I already applied some moisturizer on my face and now I'm going with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, it's in shade Pearl and with my beauty blender I'm just blending it all over my face and now I'm going to conceal my under eye area, I'll be using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in shade Porcelain and I'm just blending it out with my beauty blender And then I'm setting it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in shade Transparent. I love setting my under eye conceal with a puff. I just, I think that it creases much less than when I'm setting it with a brush. And the puff I'm using is the one that it comes with the Elf High Definition Powder. I don't really like the powder, but the puff is my favorite. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to the eyebrows and I'll be using this uh, brow powder dough by Sigma. This is in the shade medium and I'm actually going to mix the two powders together, you know. And I'm going to start filling in my brows and give them a better shape. And the brush I'm using is the Sigma E75. And I'm cleaning up the edges with a little bit of that Born This Way foundation and the Sigma E58 brush. Okay, so now I'm going to the eyes and first I'll be applying the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and actually today I'm going to apply it with my Beauty Blender, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just taking some on my Beauty Blender like this and I'm going to apply it on my eyelids. I think that it applies it like super smooth, I like that. And then I'm just going to set it with some nude eyeshadow. Okay, so next I'm taking this eyeshadow here, it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's called Burnt Orange and with my Makeup Addiction um, Diffused Blender Brush, I'm just going to buff it in my crease and this is going to be my first transition shade. Okay, so next I'm taking this eyeshadow here called Blazing, again by Anastasia Beverly Hills and with the Makeup Addiction tapered crease brush, I'm going to apply it lower in my crease and then I'm taking again that Makeup Addiction diffused blender brush with no additional product in it, I'm just going to make sure that everything is nice and blended Next I'm taking this eyeshadow here called Fixated and it's from the Melt Cosmetics Love 6 Stack. With a flat brush I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid. Then I'm taking again that eyeshadow called Blazing by Anastasia Beverly Hills and with a small blending brush, this is the Sigma E36 brush, I'm just going to blend the grey eyeshadow into the crease and I'm using a very tiny blending brush to do that because if I use a bigger one, I'll actually bring the grey eyeshadow like too high into the crease and I don't want to do that. I love using that Sigma E36 brush for that, I just feel like I have much more control over it and I can keep everything nice and low. I'm going to add just one more layer of that grey eyeshadow just because with the blending I lost some of the intensity. And then I'm going to diffuse it into the crease again with that eyeshadow called Blazing by Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Sigma E36 brush. And 
And then again, I'm taking that Makeup Addiction Diffused Blender Brush and I'm going to make sure that there are no harsh lines in the upper crease area. Okay, so now we're going to the fun part and I'm going to add some color to the look. I'm going to do an eyeliner different than black. So I'm taking this pigment here by Makeup Addiction, it's called Peacock. I'm going to take some of it in the cup here and I'm going to add a very small amount of contact solution in it. And I'm just going to mix it together so it gets like more of a liquidy consistency and I'm going to use this as eyeliner. The brush I'm using is the Essence Precise Eyeliner Brush. On my lower lash line, I'm going with the eyeshadow called Blazing by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using the Sigma E47 brush. Now I'm going to go on some falsies. These are the Blinking Beauty lashes in the style Hello Jello. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> now we're going to the face and I'm going to contour with this shade right here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in light to medium. And I'm using the Jessup Dual Fiber Powder Blush brush. And for blush, I'll be using the Frat Boy by The Bum. I'm applying it with the Jessup Large Powder Brush. I'm going to set my teeth on with this Clinique Almost Powder Makeup in shade Neutral Fair. And then I'm going to highlight my face with the Mary Luminizer by The Bum. And the brush I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23. And I'm applying it on top of my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, in the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone. And on the lips I'm going with the Melt Cosmetics Ultra Matte Lipstick in shade Lace. And as always, I'm cleaning up the edges with a little bit of a concealer. The brush I'm using is the Sigma E56. And this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to have the links down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you guys in my next video.